Okay, we have another wonderful blessing. So Assemblywoman Shannon Grove is here, and would she please come up? She has prepared just a little bit to say about this wonderful day, and I have heard her pray. I went to an event a little while ago and was blessed to partake in a prayer and share in spirituality with this lovely lady. So. It's um, truly my honor to be here, and I'm very privileged to be able to stand before you. I'm, I'm not Catholic. I, um, I worship at an Assemblies of God Church. But when I came here and I saw the sign, and it says, I trust you, Jesus. I trust Jesus. When you said the prayer about letting uh, that God is our everlasting Father and that he is the maker of heaven and earth, I believe that as well. When you said the prayer and continued when you said that Jesus Christ is the only Son of God, beloved and begotten, and he died for our sins and then rose again, we believe that as well. So I think that the things that unite us, that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he's died for our sins and that we have a heavenly Father in heaven that has made this beautiful heaven and earth and that, that we worship and adore him. Those things are the things that unite us when we come together, regardless of religion and um, what separates us. I want to share just a minute because of the patriotism and the, the prayer that you guys are about ready to offer for our entire nation and everybody with it. I think about what God has done in my life over the last two weeks. I just recently landed Wednesday night coming back from Israel. I walked in the Holy Land just last week. We prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane where Jesus sweat his tears and he asked God to take the cup from him, but not his will, but the Lord, but God's will be done. We walked the Via Della Rosa and everywhere that Jesus fell, we stopped and we prayed. And I think the one that hit me the most is when they said that Mary walked up to him and said, you know, oh my son, and he was beaten beyond recognition and she, he just looked at him or his mom and he said, I make all things new. So then I look at this property where we were invited to come and speak today, and I think, wow, God is making all things new in East Bakersfield, including this church, and a hope for people to gather and to hear God's word and to hear what he has to say to the community. I think about um, where I spent Friday night down at San Bernardino in, um, at the Crisis Pregnancy Tent Center where they had an annual event where they celebrated that 63 babies were stopped from being aborted. 63 babies. I think about um, what they said, that what changed that, um, the mind, is, is that um, they were able to see a sonogram of their unborn child or their preborn child in the womb. And then I think about what God's word said is in Luke, and it says that, you know, the baby leaked in the womb. It doesn't say fetus, and it doesn't say tissue. It said God's baby. The baby leaked in the womb. And then I, when I argue with people in Sacramento over life issues and pro-life issues, because I'm very staunch pro-life, when I argue over those issues and we debate those issues, I often finish with the thing that if God ever intended for the child to be a designated life at the time of their first breath, then he wouldn't have given it a heartbeat in the womb. And so um, I think about all the things that God has done in my life, but specifically these last two weeks. And then on Sunday afternoon, I'm brought to a Catholic service. And I have to confess, this is only uh, my second Catholic service. And one of them was a wedding with Monsignor Craig, Craig so I can't really count that as a service. Um, and uh, that was just about a month ago. But this is my first Catholic service, and I can tell you that um, everything that the, the Father spoke when he was up here is things that uh, myself and Tamika believe in from the depths of our soul. Even though the service is a little different than what we would do in our church, it's the same it's the same belief, it's the same spirit-filled belief in the Lord Jesus Christ that he's our savior and he is the way, the truth, and the light and the only one who can save us from our sins. And so I thank you very much for lifting up our nation and every individual in prayer because we need it. Every one of us need it. And it says in God's word that if, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then he'll heal our land. And when I speak all over this state, there are remnants of people, whether it's Catholic, Apostolic, Pentecostal, Pentecostal, Lutheran, they are calling on God to rescue our state and our nation. 
And that's where we need to be is on our face before the Lord asking him to rescue us. And if we do that, I truly believe in my heart that he will, he will answer that and he will, he will answer that. I, I pulled a um, prayer and I'll end with this and I have a certificate presentation. I pulled it out because it is um, political and it is, it was an actual prayer that was, that was spoken or, or prayed before the Kansas House of Representatives by a very brave individual. So this is what it says. It says, Heavenly Father, we come before you today and we ask for your forgiveness and seek your direction and guidance. We know your word says, I didn't bring my glasses, so I apologize. It says, you know your word says, woe to those who call evil good, but that's exactly what we have done. We've lost our spiritual equilibrium and, inver and inverted, our, inverted our values. And we confess to you, Father, that we have ridiculed the absolute truth of your word and called it moral pluralism. We have worshiped other gods and called it multiculturalism. We have endorsed perversion and called it alternative lifestyle. We have exploited the poor and called it lottery. We have neglected the needy and called it self-preservation. We have rewarded laziness and called it welfare. We've, called, we've killed our unborn and we've called it choice. We have shot abortionists and call it justifiable. We've neglected to discipline our children and called it building self-esteem. We've abused the power and we've called it political savviness. And we have coveted our neighbor's possessions and called it ambition. We've polluted the air with profanity and pornography and called it freedom of expression. And we have ridiculed the time-honored values of our forefathers and called it entitlement. Search us, O oh God, and know that our hearts today, as we try to see if we have some unwicked way in us, cleanse us, Father God, from that unwicked way in every sin and set us free. I ask this in the name of your Son, the living Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We have a constitution that we, um, this country was founded on. And I love the sacred document of our Constitution because it gives us our freedoms and our rights. We have unalienable rights given to us by God. No dictator, no president, no elected official can ever take them from you because they were given to you by God, given to me by God. And I think about the Word of God, where freedom come from, comes from and where it originated. And when I said in Israel last week at the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus taught about the Beatitudes, it really hit me like a ton of bricks that freedom, I've always been, I've been a believer for a long time, but freedom, true freedom comes from Christ and salvation in him. You can be in the United States and live in a free country and still be in bondage. So true, true freedom comes from Christ. And I thank you for letting me be a part of your day today. I, I just can't wait to come back when the church is built and this beautiful property is, is serving the needs of the East Bakersfield community. So God bless you and thank you for letting me be here and I have a presentation as well. So this just says Our Lady of Guadalupe Roman Catholic Church on the 32nd Annual Patriotic Rosary Rally. I wish to extend a special recognition to Our Lady of Guadalupe Roman Catholic Church on the Patriotic Rosary Rally. Thank you for praying for the United States and observing that we are one nation under God and dated the 27th of October.